So, hi. Hi. I'm Diana Galen and I'm with T of T of Quilts and I'm so excited to be with her. I watch her on Facebook, YouTube and she's just awesome and this has fulfilled a dream for me today. Well, thank you. This has been awesome and thank you so thank much you. for coming. She's with her husband but we're not going to put him on. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see you all later. Bye bye. <laughs> QS show just doing my first recording it's still day one and I thought that I would share with you some of the actual quilts that are on the outside of our booth so I'm walking the aisle that's along the outside of my the booth that we're in this is modern day wedding ring quilt by Judith Malinowski Twist of flowers. Just beautiful work. Quilting is gorgeous too. Let me zoom in on this quilting so you can see it. <laughs> Baltimore Ablum quilt here. And I'm not going to be able to show you like the quilts from top to bottom all in one shot just because I'm so close. Beautiful quilt and again a lot of quilting inside of the borders. I'm going to zoom in so you can see that. If you have never been to a national quilt show, please visit one because you are missing a treat. I love this quilt here. This is one of my favorites. I've done this Greek Keys border before, but I've never done it where I was also surrounding a block. So just beautiful. And a disclaimer, when you're at quilt shows, a lot of people say that the videos make them dizzy. I'm trying to keep people out of the camera as well as show the quilt, so. <laughs> you want to go ahead and I'll take a picture of you doing that? <laughs> I will, come on. Be brave. They are, I've been on here on the front 
I do this for my bloggers. I know. I, I'm one of your bloggers. Okay. I say you look familiar when you talk about where my are you last from. Name, I, from Festus, but I, Beautiful star quilt here made out of log cabins. Just gorgeous. The quilting is beautiful as well. Got a machine embroidered quilt here. It's fantastic. Another one of those log cabin settings. And again, you're not going to be able to see the entire quilt, but let me see. I am zoomed out. <laughs> some Civil War quilts or reproductions and then this is beautiful too the grape quilt it's beautiful and I'm not sure exactly how much of this show you're going to actually see since I am working and Paducah is like split up so they've got like five different areas where they have quilts or vendors. So I'm not going to be able to show you everything. <laughs> yeah, that's what I just said. <laughs> that's different. I think I've seen this pattern before, but never done it. It's almost a yeah, I know. Wow. One of the Judy Niemeyers in a bright colors. <laughs> in between black and white is what this one is called. Just beautiful quilting. You can already see it without me even zooming in. Just gorgeous. So just to give you a look, and I'm sure that the best of show quilts are back where that yellow is, and I haven't been in that area, and probably will not go on this round. Just different, beautiful. I have such beautiful quilts, I just don't know how they can choose a winner. Another machine embroidered piece. This show doesn't put like a description onto the quilts, but this looks like stitch, stitch connection. I could be wrong. And then this is different. It's all black on the insides with a color for border. And some of the blacks it's like navy that's so black is blue so it's kind of some blue in here as well very nice i have one of the ladies at my gill finish hers and another lady has her top ready and i have the pattern and need to start working on that This is my splendid sampler, first generation. This is amazing. Just all little crumb pieces. And I think that is it. There's nothing around this corner. <laughs> Lots of sparkle is in this quilt. A lot of crystals. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. 
Okay, so we're just going to walk past because I want to show you the best of show quilts at least because I don't want to walk out of here and not see best of show. Workmanship American Quilter Society. So this is best hand. And I think we saw this one at IQF, if I'm not mistaken, because of this bright yellow. Beautiful quilt. Still. Is this your quilt? No. Okay. Okay. I think I saw this at IQF in Chicago and loved it because of the bright yellow color. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. It was well that was might have been Houston then. That might have been where I seen it then in Houston, because I was in Houston too in November. So that might have been instead of uh Chicago. And this is best of show. It's beautiful. I like that it's different as well. Oh, it's her. It's her. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't have it back there. Wow. Very nice. No, she's the best. Gorgeous. And best of show is called Mutants and Buttons and Pearls. Oh, my by Janet Stone of Overland Park, Kansas. Wow, beautiful. That's well. The other three are beautiful. That one's from Japan, and she's going to leave here, and the other one over there is going to leave there. So let's see what it looks like on the back. This is the back of a quilt we haven't seen yet. That's gorgeous. Thank you. This is the back side. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. And this is the front. And it has a PQS movable machine workmanship. So long arm or the sit down long arms. This one we saw also in Houston. It won best of show in Houston show. And I did a real in-depth um, recording of that and even talk with the maker. So if you want to look at that, go to the Houston show that I uploaded in November or December of 2018. And that's the back of it. So I am going to go back and make sure everything is okay at the booth and I will chat with you all later so let's go walk around a bit I'm walking past quilts beautiful quilts this quilt has second place your place or mine beautiful just gorgeous All of those are like bias strips. And beautiful, beautiful. Yellow, black, and red, and white. And we've got Gamel here. Got a huge booth. Come on down that way. Flower Festival. Mm -hmm. 
color with cake acid fabrics in here for the most part just beautiful even draped their tables with the fabric made them tablecloths very nice I was taking picture of all this brightness that you all did to you take all the cloth. photos you like I won't do your quilt you can I take the quilt <laughs> but it is beautiful it's so bright Thank you. hotel room and I just thought that I would start the day off here want to give you a slight tour although I have already made a mess in my room because it is the next morning I was just too tired last night to actually take the room so here's my hotel room so here here I am at the door and then to my left is the bathroom now, and then we also have this kitchenette area that's got a built-in wall here. And so it has a little mini fridge, the microwave, and the coffee pot. And then they also have the ice bucket on this ledge here. And I have my cooler. I brought my own, um, some, some food items, so I needed a cooler. And this is my sewing machine bag. So this is food stuff, bring my own coffee and stuff, and then my thermos. Then we're at the bathroom, and I, of course, have already used the bathroom, so you gotta excuse the dirtiness. But what I don't like is that the toilet is so close to the door that it's very difficult to actually get into the bathroom. To use the bathroom, you gotta turn sideways and then just to get in and close the door to use the bathroom and you're very close to the door you're about three feet from the door with the toilet facing the door so that was just weird and then also getting into the shower it's just a little bit awkward it's not that it's a bad room it's just very small but the sleeping areas is huge they got double queen beds in the room a lot of space in between the beds and then you've got and then you have a lounging chair here and then again like the other one that i was just recently at they have this long full credenza and a cabinet that has your ironing things and you can hang things in there but what I also like is that they have hanging things out here in the room so yeah the room appears to be a little dark I'm not sure maybe there's other lights that I haven't cut on haven't found the switch for but yeah it just appears to be a little darker room I just put on a light that went up there that I didn't know was there but very much dark room it's one other light over there but uh, I do bring my own lights when I come hot <laughs> lights or daylight lamps bulbs as well so yeah this is the room and hopefully I'll see you at the quilt show hi it's T and I'm at the quilt show 
and I thought that I would show you some more quilts before my battery actually runs out so I'll see how far I can get I got about 15 minutes that I can show you before the show actually opens up <laughs> did I go there are no quilts that way so we shall go down a couple of aisles that I did not show you yesterday hopefully because I can't remember what I showed you for real <laughs> here's halo medallion it's a very pretty quilt There's crystals sparkling in this quilt. In those in those center X's, they made circles with X's and they've got crystals in those and then crystals in the big fabric piece backgrounds as well. Here's another log cabin style quilt. Very pretty. Love it. Snake River Log Cabin. It's this applique sampler. Beautiful blocks. A lot of different things going on as well. Don't know if it's a pattern. It's called Pandemonium and the card. Pinwheel Stars. This is a feathered star, the birds and the bees. Ancient stars to the left. And then to the right, we have Fair Isles Winter. This one's called Flower Power. And Karma Chameleon. Very pretty whole cloth. Beautiful release areas. Beautiful. Hi. <laughs> Look, she's waving at me <laughs> and I'm waving at her. <laughs> Are you playing this year? Yes. Okay. This is river movement. I don't think I've ever seen this pattern before. Interesting. Second time around. Double wedding ring quilt. Star quilt with log cabin. And then 1790 love entwined. A lot of work. <laughs> Ooh, all hand applique. And even the border here. You know, one thing that I forgot to share with you is I learned at IQF that all the quilts are counted in the morning and then they're also counted in the evenings to make sure that the quilts are still here. It's amazing. They have to keep up with that too. A lot, a lot of scraps. A lot of little bitty pieces. I'd say this square here is about four inches, just to give you perspective. Beautiful work. It's called Barnum and Bailey by Daisy Dodge in Carmel, New York. Quilted by Angie 
Bertusi. There's the sheet. But lots and lots of scraps for you scrap lovers. Just beautiful. Pretty good graphically, isn't it, on the camera, all the movement. And this one too has movement in the columns. Very nice. This is reincarnation. It's very long, so I'm trying to show you the whole thing. Star quote. Ooh, look at this. Beautiful. It's called Rainbow Supernova. Beautiful. Love it. <laughs> Got a lot of star quotes. <laughs> Beautiful rainbow one. It's called Amazing Grace. This was Ultraviolet Jane. So it's a Dear Jane quote. One of the brightest I've ever seen. Very nice. And let's go back down this aisle. On the other side. <laughs> Another star quilt, long star here. And just beautiful. At least my battery isn't flashing. <laughs> just gorgeous. That's um, like a sashing. I don't know how this is pieced together. It's a four patch, but it's three pieces. So here's a four patch. And then here's a square. So it's interesting. And then I'm thinking this is your entire unit here. Like the center here, down through the center, back up and down. And then they had to add on yeah, that's pretty cool to create the sashing. Very nice. It's called Triple Diamonds by Brianne Moores of Washington. This one has a ribbon on it for Judge's Recognition, the, Vienna, the Bernina Q series. <laughs> Very pretty. Art Nouveau. Got a lily squilt. It's called Early Summer with Fresh Breeze. Blue Forest. Old Vine Zen. Zen. So we'll just cut through. Uh, we're cutting through because I showed you the award quotes. This is the best of show again right here. And we are going to get at least one more row in before I quit. And we're still in the main hall. 
and I'm hoping that I can get into some of the other show areas today but we shall see if we're busy I will not be able to that's beautiful it's called Bizarro by Barbara Shifter of North Carolina oh my gosh look at that all hexagons it's called hexagon 2 so she must have a hexagon 1 and probably a hexagon 3 but these hexagons are like 3 quarter inch size awfully tiny <laughs> beautiful job again I have to give the dizziness disclaimer I'm only human I'm holding on a tripod and trying to be as still as possible but um, yeah it gets heavy <laughs> and I've tried holding in my other hand and it's worse because I just don't use it for steadiness so this is beautiful too just gorgeous it called it's called I was in love once come from Japan Baltimore album style beautiful borders all the flowers up there are different in the borders just beautiful I think I've ever seen one with a border as intricate and then I'm gonna show you this aisle and then I'll quit for today Alice's pot of flowers by Alice Tri Tigner of some kind of park Missouri I don't know what that is I can't see my eyes are failing me this one is Distant Memory. It's like another star, but got quilt blocks in the corners. Very beautiful. Chevron borders, more quilt blocks, and another Chevron border. Francis Flack finds a new from Maryland. Oh, Heart of the Sea, and it's got 3D elements. I don't even know if you can see that these are 3D unless I get on the side of the quilt, maybe. <laughs> Very beautiful. Very creative. All kinds of 3D elements. Very nice. I don't know if I showed you this one's Anne's Legacy. To protect the quilts, please do not touch. Buttons for Blue Boy. Ooh, this one's pretty. Connections from Maker in Tennessee, Beth Porter. And nice, different patriotic style quilt. Let's see. Political Circus is what it's called. Isn't that cute? And photographed so well. Just gorgeous. Very creative. Very nice. <laughs> Very creative. Remembrance. 